Welcome Virgos. I'm back with another video. Thank you guys for tuning in with me. We're going to see what uh, messages we have for the week, okay? So if you've missed out on the November monthly, you might want to go back and check that out. Um, so you can be kind of up to speed, up to par. This is a weekly, okay? So we're going to do it week by week. And we're going to see what messages we get. Okay, um, as well, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for helping me um, with selling out of all of my products on the website, guys. I thank you so much for everyone who has shown support to this channel. All right. Um, this channel has been growing a lot lately, and I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful for the support that you guys show. All right. So I'm in the process of restocking. So... The website will be back up soon, okay? Thank you guys so much again. All right, so November the 1st through the 7th. Let's see what message we get. November 1st through November 7th, please, for the sign of Virgo. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we got the Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy that is coming together. That's friendships. That could be three people. Okay, well... All right, let's talk. Let's talk about it, Virgos. I'm getting, I'm hearing too, like you told a few people about something that you were leaving. Okay. The death card is Scorpio's energy, but this is also about transformation. This is also an ending but I'm getting as well. Why is the Knight of Cups here? The Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. All right. I'm getting. I'm getting. Why is the Three of Swords? Three of Swords. Knight of Wands. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. So. You're, I feel like you're upset. Something may have gotten exposed. A player might have, might have gotten exposed, okay? We got the hermit and the high priestess. So you have been, you just been having a good feeling. Like you can feel this. You just have that feeling like something isn't right. There's something that this person isn't telling you. And you may feel like this person has other, you know, some other things going on or they're just around here playing. Around here playing behind your back. It's around here doing the most. Yeah. You feel like they got other things going on. All right. So you may be deciding like, you know, I'm out of here. Six of swords. Yeah, I'm gone. Now we got the queen of cups here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You might be trying to leave those feelings behind. Like you're trying to get over those feelings that you have for this person. Because you've come to the realization that this person is just a cheater. They're a liar. They're manipulative. You know? They just be doing too much. Why is the sun here? I feel like some of you have woken up to this. Have woke up to this realization. Okay. Yep. The Eight of Wands, you got some type of news. I'm getting another narrative too for some of you. Some of you may have gotten some news that you aren't telling or speaking on until later. Some of you got some good news about some money. Some of you could have been dealing with the family as well. 
And there was some type of disagreement or argument, okay? Why is the Hierophant here? This is Taurus's energy, Page of Pentacles. This is also like your past energy, okay? So... Okay, you were commenting on someone's on someone's status. We got the paper swords in the world here. Definitely the internet. Someone's commenting on somebody's status because you feel like maybe you commented because you feel like this person is afraid to to say something. I'm hearing like on their wall. Why is the world here? Yep, I'm getting, I'm hearing tell everybody the truth about what happened. The Ace of Wands and the Five of Wands. There was some type of disagreement or argument or a fight. Maybe you saw the whole thing. You witnessed it. The King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, you may feel like this person is is doing too much trying to get someone's attention. I don't feel like you. I feel like you might have was in the middle or try to defuse it or something like that. I'm just getting that. Like, I'm hearing tell everybody the truth about what happened. Okay, we got the Four of Wands and the Lovers for Future Energy. Some of you are possibly like married. I'm getting a le legally married. Um, I'm getting as well the justice card is um, Libra's energy. The four of wands is a home life, um, family or a group setting. Why is the justice card here? Lovers is Gemini's energy. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, somebody here is... There's a third party here. The Seven of Swords and the Three of Cups. The Tower and the Empress. You may have felt like this person... You didn't think that they were bold enough to do it. But they did something. Ten of Swords and the Emperor. They stabbed somebody in the back or betrayed somebody. Okay, I'm getting... You finally get your chance to say something. You finally get a chance to say something. You've been waiting on this. You've been waiting on this. It's finally your turn to say something. King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay, so were you afraid to say something or afraid to uh, take a risk or a leap of faith? I'm getting with the Eight of Swords and the Fool, that's kind of like you were very cautious or felt like, you know, let me think before I take action. Okay, let me think before I take action. Queen of Wands, this is how they view it, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, their, their guard is up too. They possibly are watching you. They're watching you. Yep. They watch and see how you react, how you respond. They hope you try to jump in. So for some of you, this is a disagreement that you possibly like kind of kept quiet on or you witnessed. I feel like you witnessed something like this okay the eight of i'm sorry the devil is here in the hopes and fears capricorn's energy king of swords this is negative thoughts 
Oh, somebody's jealous of somebody. Okay. Somebody is really envious of someone. The empress is here. Could be a mother, a sister, a aunt, a girlfriend, a baby mother. Somebody is extremely jealous. It's extreme. as if this person is missing an opportunity because they want to argue. They want to keep drama going and keep arguments going. So I feel like this is something that you're witnessing. I don't feel like you're actually in this situation. I feel like this is something that you may witness. I feel like this is something that you may witness, okay? For some of you, it may be a situation that you could possibly be in, but for a lot of you, I feel like this is something that you may be sitting in the cut and you heard about you just not responding on it. And this is your thoughts or your feelings about it. All right. So y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. I will chat with y'all later. Ciao.